Joining us right now to talk about today's tech, social media news, and so much more, and some news of his own that he's making this week. Steve Ballmer, the former Microsoft CEO, and his wife, they've announced a $400 million investment in a VC fund focused on black entrepreneurs. Steve, it's great to see you. Uh, I want to talk about that. I also want to talk about all these headlines uh, we've, been, we've been talking about. Let, let's talk about this investment, though, first, uh, that you've made with your wife and uh, where it came from and what you're trying to do. Yeah, uh, we committed $400 million to four different fund managers, Ariel Investments, Fairview Capital, J.P. Morgan, in partnership with Grosvenor, and Goldman. And the target was simple. We wanted to invest in uh, some private equity, but then a lot of also VC and growth, uh, early stage growth money in black-led funds with an obligation for those folks to put the money into, at least at a 30% level, black-led uh, companies and entrepreneurs. Uh, we're off to the races with Fairview Capital and, and Goldman. The other two are, are uh, still you know, coming together, but they will. And uh, very excited about doing that. We see an under under tap market opportunity, and uh, I think also important, if you will, in terms of what else it, can it bring. But market returns, capital not flowing in there, so much less venture capital right. flowing to black entrepreneurs and fund managers. We saw great opportunity. There's no doubt that it is uh, hopefully uh, going going to change the dynamic. My question to you about this, though, is how much you think about this in the context of returns, how much of it you think about it in terms of developing this market. Do you prepare, are you, do, you, do you think of this as a, a market-based uh, investment? Do you think of this uh, philanthropically? What's the, what's the sort of uh, thought process? Top line is market-based returns. Now, how did I get here? My wife and I philanthropically focus in on economic mobility, uh, certainly the opportunity to, or the need to improve economic mobility is strongest in, in the uh, Native American and African American communities. Uh, that's what sort of got us started. Uh, some friends of mine who are entrepreneurs uh, also highlighted uh, this, this shortage, if you will. But it only works, it only works if this stuff is market-based. Philanthropy eventually runs out of money. Job growth, opportunity depends upon capital, market capital with market rates. And then we'll see the flywheel spin, more investment, more jobs, more opportunity for wealth building uh, in, in the, in the African-American community, which, which I think is great in terms of social impact, but it only works with market returns. Uh, while we have you here, Steve, there's a whole bunch of headlines in Techland that I'd love to get your, your thoughts about, uh, one of which is this issue of Snap. You heard uh, Jim Cramer talking about Snap earlier, but we're seeing this uh, at least impacting social media stocks across the board. What do you think of Snap, and, and what do you think of the social media space right now? Well, <laughs> I heard Cramer go off on it, and... Uh... I have nothing particularly to add on Snap. I have to say it was it, he was pretty clear on his point of view. I think social media, unfortunately, is a a weird conglomeration of a bunch of businesses that really have fundamentally different uh, economics. I don't think of Twitter really as being a similar kind of product to to Facebook, which is not the same as Instagram, which is not the same as Snap, and yet they all get rolled together under the word social media. And I think, I mean, investors obviously are showing that people think of them more similarly than I do, uh, but you know, I have a long-term belief uh, that the ability to bring information, whether it's from you know, people you don't know or people you do, and this is a mix of those two things, that'll be a pretty good business. You know, we'll see how uh, valuations do, but I think it's pretty good business. Snap's very different. It's a communication channel between two people. Twitter's one to many. Meta is kind of many to many. And Pinterest, I can't say I know very well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.